Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little impromptu flip of my personal wide rings. I have been wanting to do this flip for a while, um, and if you follow me on Instagram, I did do a little mini flip a while ago, but as per usual, I was kind of waiting to finalize my planner a little bit, add some more things, change things up a bit. But I decided against that today because I wanted to kind of just show my planner in its raw form, talk about what's working for me and what's not working for me as far as inserts. This is going to be a really chatty video because I just want to talk about my planner system and kind of the evolution of it and things like that. So uh, just prepare yourself for that. I will mention shops, but I'm not going to mention everything. So if you have any questions about where something is from, feel free to ask in the comments and I will uh, reply if I know the shop. Um, some things are from Happy Mail or that I've just had for too long. I don't remember the shop names. Um, but if I have the shop names, I will definitely leave it down below and I will leave any coupon codes that I might have down below as well. So anyway, the last time I did a video, I was in a personal rings Foxy Fix and I have since moved to a personal wide. And, you know, I feel like the personal wide was very bandwagony and it was, it totally was. And I feel like the term bandwagon is thrown a lot thrown around a lot in the planner community and I feel like it's said with some negativity and I get that I get you know we don't want our planners to look like everybody else's sometimes we're okay with that sometimes we're not sometimes things are bandwagony for a reason <laughs> and I think personal wide is one of those things I think people really liked the personal wide because it's a great compromise for people who have enjoyed the size of the b6 but want the ease of rings this is, I think, the perfect compromise. And particularly these Foxy Fix or other planners that come with the strap, you still get that aesthetic of the Traveler's Notebook. And I personally have always loved the strap versus, I mean, yeah, sorry, the strap versus the snap closure is totally what drew me to trying rings again in the first place. Because, you know, Foxy Fix has had ring binders for a while now, and I was never very intrigued by their original ones, but when they came out with that spice leather with this strap closure, I knew I was ready to try rings again. So anyway, let's get into the flip and start talking about the planner. So a little bit of an overview. This is a personal wide sugar coconut, and I have a pink foil crescent moon and a light pink elastic. And this adorable little Frida Kahlo charm is from Love Neen on Etsy. I just love this thing. It is so cute. My charms down here were all made by me, except for this one. This one is from the Opal Wild with the pretty little rose quartz heart. I think really cute. So this is what you see when you first open my planner. You guys know I love to decorate my planner and adds all kinds of deco. I will never get away from my deco. I need deco. It makes my planning more fun. I will admit there's such a thing as too much deco. <laughs> and it might be bordering on that, but I'm okay right now. So here I have my little LOD and my little boba tea. I went for kind of boba tea pockets here. These are both from Hello Paper Cat, which I do have a PR code for. I will leave that down below for you guys. This really beautiful pastel boba dashboard is from Powder World. And I do have this in here to add a little bit of structure to my planner. I really do love how soft this sugar leather is, especially now that they've split it for this particular configuration. But I will admit, I do like to have a little extra structure in there. This super adorable die cut is one of my favorites ever. It is from a Happy Scrappy kit, which I've been subscribed to for uh, maybe three, four. I think this was my fourth box that I got this month, the unicorn box. But this was like my favorite box. I loved it so much. Here in front, I just have a little glitter dashboard that I made. This is kind of just to protect my front dashboard. Because as you guys can see, I have this thing pretty chunky. This is my front dash here. Let me get a little closer so that way you guys can see it, hopefully a little better. It's not a great angle that I'm at. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so I have some really beautiful artwork here. This is from an Instagram artist who I can't remember off the top of my head, but I will leave her name down below for you guys. These are printables from Kittenish Girl on Etsy. I believe she might have her own shop now. This is just something from Pinterest and this is from Lace and Whimsy. I've had these since last year and they're still some of my favorites. This really adorable little set of stickers, Big Bang stickers, is from an artist on Instagram. It's like 2PIIM. She does the most adorable Big Bang fan art I've ever seen and she was selling some of her stickers 
and this is kind of one of my favorite things that I own so I have it here in this protective pocket because of course I will never use these stickers I will just have them like this forever <laughs> this is just a little pocket that I made using um, a bag that I got in some happy mail in and I just laminated it with this really pretty hollow paper on the back from I think this one is from Hobby Lobby this is another happy scrappy die cut now my dividers I half made myself half bought from an Etsy shop so the vinyls themselves came from an Etsy shop and they personalized them for me and added the names that I'd like on there and then I came through I printed some uh, printable vellum from some shops and assembled them myself and I laminated them and everything and so they're really cute I really like them I do think I'm eventually going to replace them and that is because as I will kind of get into some of these sections aren't really working for me but this really adorable uh, vellum is from Aria oh god I don't know how to pronounce her username but she's one of my good friends on Instagram and I will definitely leave her link down below because she makes really really cute things for her shop this is some vellum from an old Hello Petite paper kit. I believe that was her spring kit. And here we have my first section. My miscellaneous section is definitely a catch-all. I will always have a miscellaneous section in my planners. Um, I will admit though, I don't use it that much in my personal wide rings. I definitely use it more in my pocket rings. Um, and I think the reason for that is because the pocket rings is my on the go planner. And so I'm jotting things down as I go. Um, my personal wide is more of thought out things that are put in here. So of course I'm thinking about, always thinking about how to use my planners. Uh, I have some coupon codes in here. I have this really cute dashboard. This is definitely my favorite, well, one of my favorite dashboards in this planner. I love all my dashboards in this planner. I think they all came out so cute. These are also from that same Happy Scrappy kit. This is Lulu Kawaii Shop, hopefully I'm getting that correct. I will definitely leave her link down below for you guys. Here is the back of it, some banana doodles, princessa plans, kina prints, and stationary heaven co. This is just some vellum that I printed some of those digitals from kittenish girl on. This is my super amazing glitzy trooper dashboard. I love this thing so much. Uh, and here I have a sampler from toffee banana, another LED, another rose from princessa plans and also one of my fox and pip vinyl bows stuck on there here i have some more samplers and then this really cute little die cut from my friend mochi within my miscellaneous section i also have a projects tab which admittedly i am not using i did use this in the past but i have not used it this time around so i'll probably leave a little bit of this in here but I'll take a little chunk out as well because I, I'm obviously not using it very often and you know it's just adding bulk to my planner unnecessarily next up I have one of the most beautiful washi dashboards in existence <laughs> this is uh, using pretty much all simply gilded washi except for this one this is a little twin stars washi that I know I got from um, Etsy I just can't remember the Etsy shop I've had it for so long but if you just look up Little Twin Stars Washi on Etsy or eBay, you'll find a ton of it. <laughs> this super cute little die cut is from Stationery Heaven Co. And I thought it went perfectly with this dashboard. Here on the back, I think her name is Starshine. This is the little character from Jalen Paper Co. I love her little things. Super, super cute. I have some NSFW by CA Vellum. And I have my mood tracker here. So this is one of the Life and Life and Pixels inserts from Annie Plans. Um, I was doing it uh, for a while. Uh, this is all blocked out because, of course, I just started this in August. And I kept up with it for about half the month and then fell off the bandwagon. But I would definitely like to try to keep up with this again because, uh, I don't know, I like tracking my mood. I like kind of seeing what's affecting me and what's not. This is my next divider, and this is my weekly section. This is definitely the most used section in my planner. I have this really adorable dashboard from Hello Paper Cat. As you can probably tell, this was uh, made for a personal size planner. I have so many personal size dashboards from her that I just can't leave them out. They're so, so cute, and they actually make perfect little dashboards for sticky notes. So I have two banana doodle sticky notes here that are just so, so cute. 
This really adorable printable vellum is from a new shop. Well, they're new to me. I'm not sure how long they've been around. Uh, it's called, I'm terrible at pronouncing these names. I believe it's Lays and Cree Shop. Uh, <laughs> She has really cute stuff, and half the reason I'm doing this flip right now is because I want to redo my whole planner with her pastel uh, Halloween stuff, and I think it's going to be so cute in my coconut, but I wanted to film this before I changed out some of my dashboards and vellum and things. I actually did start PRing for this shop here recently, I think just this week, so I will leave my PR code down below for you guys to check her out. It's all digital stuff, which I really, really love. I am all about digitals lately. Next up, I have a K-pop dashboard. You guys know how I love my boys. So I have T.O.P. here. I have the little Korean heart symbol, A Peach. And I have this photo of G.D. with one of my favorite quotes by him. It says, what we should be really scared of are not failures, but the heart that is no longer brave enough to take risks and embrace challenges. I think that's a great, great quote. It definitely reflects the sentiment I've had this year and even last year. So I love, love, love that. Here on the back, I have this little card that I got from Simply Gilded a long time ago. I've probably had this for like two or three years. This is the image that um, Hello Paper Cat had drawn whenever we first started PRing for her. So that's supposed to be me. And I had sent her a picture of me with my purple hair because although I don't miss the dry damaged hair, I definitely miss the color <laughs> purple hair. So that's what that is. So here we have my monthly calendar and in this section I just write down like kind of big events that are happening. So like for instance this month I went to see Shakira in concert a couple weeks ago which was amazing by the way. I wrote down like my friend's birthday and some other big things that are happening. And same thing here, I am going to my first planner convention you guys and I'm so stoked. Me and my best friend are going. It's called Planner Chicks in Paris. Um, and it seems like it's going to be pretty legit. <laughs> so if any of you guys are going, let me know. I would love to meet people. I'm super stoked. Like I said, I have never been to anything planner related. I've never even been to like the local meetups at Starbucks, nothing like that. So this is really exciting for me. So those are my monthlies and we're going to skip on over to my weekly. This is another little dashboard from Hello Paper Cat. This vellum is also from Ariel on Instagram. I believe it's Ari Bay, baby, I'm pronouncing that correctly. But anyway, you guys should definitely check her out because she has a beautiful Instagram account and she does amazing YouTube videos. If you're not already watching them, you totally should be. So next up we have my weekly insert and this is a cute little dangle charm that I got in a banana doodles anniversary birthday box. And uh, I believe it was made by Exo Carolyn Design. So that's really cute. My tracker, which I do usually keep up with, I just haven't really started it this month yet. So let's talk about weekly inserts. This was a big struggle for me when I was first starting to get into the personal wide. In my personal rings, I think I tried three or four different weekly inserts. None of them really worked for me. And this one as well, I think this was probably, I think I probably tried three as well in my personal wide until I finally found insert piece. <laughs> I am using, uh, let me show you what a blank one looks like. These are just blank inserts from Peanuts Planner Co. As you can see, they're just two column grid. They're not dated or anything. But these have worked really, really nicely for me. I have actually been decoratively planning, which is not something I've done in a while. This is actually all of August that I've left in here because it's just so cute and I don't want to take it out. Um, but I really love these inserts. I feel like it gives me just enough space without taking up too much space. I love the fact that there's some loose structure here, but I also get to kind of be creative. I get to use all my old Erin Condren kits because I haven't planned in an Erin Condren since February. <laughs> so I have a lot of leftover kits. I have a lot of recollections kits. That's what I'm using here. Um, so yeah, it's just a great way for me to use up my stickers and of course I love my little emojis. I never want to get away from those ever ever ever. This is this week. I am using this really adorable kit from I believe the name is Moon Babe Inquiry. It was formerly Gypsy Chaos Co and she has since rebranded uh, but she has really cute stickers. 
So here we are today, Friday, yay! And these are the blank ones. I think this is the most consistent planning I've probably done since moving into ring, maybe even all year, to be honest with you. Um, I, I've moved a lot when it comes to weekly planning this year, and I think I have finally found peace in these inserts in this size. So, moving on. Of course, I have my very favorite iridescent acetate. I think this acetate has been in every single planner video that I have filmed, and somehow I still have some. I think this is still the original set that I bought from Michaels probably two years ago. I think I just bought a lot of it, <laughs> which I'm glad I did because I can't find it anymore, so that's great. I have another really cute dashboard here. This little sticker is from Sprinkle Bat. It, uh, she is an artist who I often see at conventions and things. I love this little witch here. She is from Hello Paper Cat, and these two are from Banana Doodle Shop. I have this adorable little animal cupcake vellum from Happy Scrappy. I definitely love my Happy Scrappy kits, guys. If you're considering Happy Scrappy, I totally recommend it. If you like kawaii things, that's more your aesthetic, definitely go for Happy Scrappy. The next section I have here is my Korea section. If you follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I am planning to move to Korea next year to teach. And so that's what this section is. It's all about preparing for that move and preparing for my new position there. This is another really adorable banana milk vellum from Ariel. So here we are in my Korea section. Uh, this is another section that I will probably take out of my planner and make it just like a subsection because I'm not really using it. I was originally supposed to go to Korea this I should be in Korea right now actually, but there was some delays and I won't go into the long story of it. But essentially I think because I've had that delay, I've kind of lost a little bit of the momentum that I had. So I'm not really using this section as much. Um, I'm just not as pressed for time as I was before when it came to moving to Korea. It was kind of a frenzy last month and now I have time to kind of take a deep breath and get my affairs in order before I make this giant move. So this section is probably going to be condensed. I'll probably get rid of the tab and do something different there. This cute little strawberry milk is from NSFW by CA. I have my all-time favorite Hello Paper Cat dashboard. This is my T.O.P. dashboard. Love this so much. I have a little adhesive pocket with some samplers on the back of that one. Here is another Glitzy Trooper dashboard with some more samplers in it. And on the back, I just have some die cuts and cute things. My next divider here is finances. This is also a section that I use a lot in my planner. Um, I'm trying to be a responsible adult <laughs> and not spend as much on pretty much everything. Um, so I have this really cute dashboard featuring one of my favorite die cuts ever from Happy Daya Daya stickers. I love her stickers. This is also from Happy Daya. I basically placed an order from her shop just to get these two die cuts because they were freebies and I needed them in my life. Um, but of course I love all the stickers that I buy from her as well. I love this little Lola die cut. It's super, super cute. This I think is really cute because it pretty much is my planner. It's a printable from Kittenish Girl as well. Here I have some really cute Panda Boba Vellum from NSFW by CA. The first thing I have here in my finance section is my order tracker because, you know, I order too much off the internet. I'm not going to show you guys all my orders, but this is what the insert looks like. It's from Annie Plans. It's pretty basic and it totally works for me. I have this super, super cute vellum. This does not get enough attention. This is from Frank Hart's You. I love that it's Disney and Hello Kitty, two of my favorite things. This is also one of my favorite dashboards. I love all the dashboards in this planner. Let's, let's just put that out there. Uh, but I loved how the colors came together on this one. They're all that very pretty kind of watermelony color. So this is more paper and uh, die cuts from Happy Scrappy. That same kit. I tell you, I loved that kit. Um, this baby girl just breathe is from Banana Doodle Shop. And then I have a photo of Mino from Shiny. 
and they like to pretend that he's the one saying that to me. <laughs> uh, here's the back of that uh, scrapbook paper. It was just so cute, I didn't want to cover it up. Next up, I have my bill section, which once again, I'm not going to show you guys because nobody wants to see that. But once again, it's a pretty basic layout. You just write the bill when it's due, um, amount, and check off when you paid. So here is some more vellum from NSFW by CA. I have this cute little dashboard that I actually plan to put one of the adhesive pockets on here. I just haven't gotten to that yet, but that's what I'm going to do with this. And I have one of my Fox and Pit bows there on the top. On the back, I have a photo card of Shiny. Next up, I have my debt repayment. It says bills here. I messed that up, obviously. I'm not going to show you guys that because all of those are actually filled out. Next up, I have my Luna Kitty section. So some of you may know that uh, Luna Kitty is the name of my shop. I have a little Etsy shop where I sell my handmade resin and clay pieces, although I haven't done a whole lot of clay lately. I've just been doing mainly resin. But anyway, so this is where I keep track of stuff to do with my shop. Another super cute dashboard. One of my favorite acetates as well. This one, I think I got this one on scrapbook.com. Really, really cute. Um, so the first section I have in here is customs that kind of has some personal customer information, so I won't show you guys that. But I am just using these uh, simple dot grid inserts from Happy Scrappy. I have the most amazing top vellum ever. Look at how cute this is. It drives me crazy because it curls. I don't know why. I guess maybe it was just the paper was too saturated with ink. I don't know, but for whatever reason, this vellum curls and it drives me crazy, but it is beautiful, so I keep it in there. I have another dashboard from Powder World. This one with all the TNs is so, so pretty. I have a photo card of Big Bang here. And then the last insert I have in here is um, from Happy Scrappy. And what I'm using this for is to plan out conventions. So if I decide to go to a convention to sell my jewelry, I will just kind of plan it out here, which I actually have only done um, Gosh, a handful of conventions this year, not like in past years where I'm like every weekend or at least once or twice a month I'm at a convention. This year I just really haven't done it. I've kind of stepped away from the convention world because it's exhausting and it costs a lot of money. <laughs> I'm convinced that I spend more money than I make at those things. So I've kind of stepped away from that, but I am still doing my Etsy shop. And then the last thing I have here is my page lifter. This, of course, came with the planner. I have attached a, uh, what is it, happy planner pen loop here, which I think is really cute with this particular pen. This pen I love. This is a pen from Shop Via Beautiful. I got my first two pens from her shop this year, and I really, really love them. Um, I love that they're gel ink, and they just look really pretty in my planner. <laughs> In my back pocket here, I kind of have a hodgepodge of things. I have my tattoo babe, I have a Lola, I have my PR code, or my PR card, sorry, from Hello Paper Cat, which I love. And then this is just a gift card that I keep here to cut washi. For some reason, this gift card is really good at cutting washi. I have another Powder World dashboard here to add some structure to my back pocket. And then in the back pocket itself, I have some stickers here that I use for my weeklies. And then this is just some, this is just some blank paper that I printed and it either printed wrong or whatever. I'm not using it for one reason or another, um, but I decided to keep it in there just in case I need some scrap paper, something that I don't necessarily want to keep in my planner at all times, but I just didn't want to throw away that paper because it's still good paper even though I really can't use it for my rings for whatever reason. But anyway, that was my flip. That was really chatty. Uh, <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I do also have my B6 and my pocket rings that I'm using. I'm not going to do a flip of these two, but I do want to just kind of mention how I'm using them. So my pocket rings is my on-the-go planner. None of the information in these planners is repeated. There is something different in all three of these. This guy is not a planner at all, honestly. He is a journal, a sketchbook, and a creative planner. Um, this is my Chic Sparrow Angel that I just adore. It is one of the, it is the only TN that I'm currently using. Um, and then the last thing I have is my pocket rings, and this is my on-the-go planner. 
And this is a really basic setup. I will eventually do a flip and talk about how I'm using this one as well. But for now, I just wanted to show you guys that these are the three planners that I'm using. And this system is really working for me, you guys. I love the personal wide rings. I am loving the pocket. And of course, you know, I think I am using my B6 more now than ever. Um, <laughs> I've been using a B6 tan for quite some time. But with the combination of these two, this has a whole new purpose. And I love that about it. But anyway, guys, this is a really long video, so I will stop talking now. But if you guys have any questions, like I said, feel free to comment. Leave your questions down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.